All right, so we're gonna do a drawing from a blueprint. And this is the blueprint that we were looking at earlier in class. And we are gonna transition this to an isometric shape. So in on shape, you're gonna create a new document. And we're gonna use the same name that's on our blueprint, which is the one by one bracket. And then you have to kind of understand how you draw things in on shape. So a lot of times we visualize the drawing as this 2D shape and then you're extruding out a three-dimensional object. So you have to think about as you draw this, you want to draw the easiest 2D shape to extrude your part. So in our case, if we just take a shape, so basic rectangle, sketch it in 2D, you can see how it's just on a flat plane, and then we can extrude it out. So that's the basic function in on shape. So when we go back and look at our blueprint, which one of the viewpoints is going to work the easiest? So in this case, we're definitely looking at this L-shaped part of the bracket. So that bottom left image. Okay, and you can see that by looking at some of the isometric uh, sketches of the same orthographic drawing. So when we go to draw this in on shape, we are going to make a sketch on a plane that matches that L shape of the bracket. So to do that, we start out with clicking on sketch, then we're going to select a plane. So we want to sketch this on the front plane, because that's what our viewpoint is on the blueprint. And you can see how our sketch plane switched to front plane. And then over here we have this new light blue box outside of our front plane that shows us which plane we are sketching on. And then over here on our cube, we can orient this so we are looking at it from the front, just like we would be sketching on paper in front of it. So from here, we want to use some of the tools that are available to us in the sketch to be able to draw this. And in our case, they don't have a default L shape. So we're going to have to use our line tool to do this. And there's some ways that you can use on shape to help you draw straighter lines. So if you notice here, when I mouse over this center uh, part of the plane, I get this little yellow dotted line and the vertical symbol. So what we want to try to avoid doing when we're drawing this general L shape is to get edges that are not perpendicular, not parallel, uh, or vertical, or horizontal. So to avoid that, we can use some of the presets that Onshape has. So to start with our line tool, we're going to get that line to show up, right? So we're mousing over, and then we get that little dotted line. So that'll help us draw a straight up and down line right so that vertical line and then we want to snap that corner to the origin because that'll come in handy later okay, and same thing here we're using that dotted line to kind of help us draw these horizontal or vertical lines to make up our L okay and when we go vertical you can see how it kind of snaps to that original kind of vertical point that allows us to know that we are perfectly vertical Okay, so we can place that line down, and then this line we just want to be horizontal. And then when we come up here to the top, there's a couple different ways. Um, sometimes if you're close enough, Onshape will automatically show you where that connector is. But sometimes you kind of have to lean it over uh, with your mouse and touch the other line so that it will connect to it, depending on how far away you are. Okay, but this allows you to know that you're drawing that line so that it's parallel to that other one. So now we have our polygon. Uh, when we have all the corners closed, you end up with a gray shape. Okay, so from here we want to double check our work. 
or if we had a situation where we didn't have very straight lines. So I'll demonstrate how this works here. We kind of have a slanted line like that, and then this one's really drastic. We can use some of the tools that Onshape has to basically fix that. So up in this top toolbar, there are horizontal and vertical tools. So if you click on those, and then you click on your lines that aren't quite straight, it will put them straight for you. Okay, and right now we're not worried about dimensions because we'll put those in later once we get our basic shape. So then I fix that line. And you can go around and you click on all your lines and just double check and make sure that they are all parallel to each other and that they're horizontal and vertical. So then from there we need to reference our blueprint here. And so we can see that the width of this L shape is an inch. So when we take this measurement and transfer it over to on shape. Uh, we want to make sure it goes from the edge on the right uh, to that corner or the matching side. Right, so we're going to click on our dimension tool. Okay, and then when we do this, we want to select that corner. And then we want to set the dimension in relation to the other side. Okay, and that will match the blueprint dimension. Uh, in the blueprint, blueprint, this is an inch. Okay, and then we'll repeat that for the other side. So we're going to click on that bottom corner point and then set the dimension to the other side of the L. Just like that. And then we'll set that one to an inch. So now we're going to set our thickness dimension for this part. And if you remember from the blueprint, that was 1 16th of an inch. So the nice thing about Onshape is you can type in the fractions. It'll convert it to decimal for you. You can type in other types of measurements like centimeters or millimeters. As long as you use the units, it will convert it to your workspace of inches. And now from here, what we need to do is add that curved portion of the bracket into it. So we're going to insert this curved shape. Okay, so using the fillet tool, all right, so that eighth inch radius, we're going to click on the fillet tool, and then we're going to click on this corner. So the inside corner first. Uh, it will default to like 0.125 or 0.25 depending on your drawing. Uh, we want this to be an eighth, so you can manually go in and edit this if you need to. Okay, so now we have a nice curve to our bracket. And then you're going to do the same radius on the other corner. Okay, and then you click down your mouse to accept that measurement, place it, and now we're done with that sketch. So at this point we go back to our extrusion video, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this two-dimensional shape that we drew and we need to extrude it out to match the thickness in our drawing right and our dimension tells us that that's half an inch so green check to close out of your sketch and save your work okay, and I'm gonna pivot this a little bit so you can kinda see how the extrusion works uh, but this is very much a two-dimensional drawing on a plane okay, so right next to the sketch button is the extrude button you're going to click on that. Okay, and then you're going to mouse over your shape until it turns yellow. And then you'll click on it. And it defaults to an inch. Uh, so you can see the brackets extruded. Uh, but we want to change that value to 0.5 because that's what the blueprint told us. 
Okay, so now we have a bracket that kind of looks like the bracket in the isometric image that we looked at before. Now at this point we need to put the holes that are in the bracket and to do that we have to sketch on the surface of the part that we just made. So we're not going to actually sketch on the plane anymore. We're going to sketch on the surface. So we're going to flip this around to uh, the back side. You can see how this looks just like our drawing. Now we're going to set this to that dimension that's there of one half an inch. Okay, and the other thing to note is this hole is centered on our drawing here. So how do we pick center? So first we make a new sketch. We mouse over that flat part of the bracket until we have a new sketch plane. So we're going to be sketching on the face of that object. Okay, and then we're going to grab our circle tool, which is up in the toolbar now that we're in the sketch. And the nice part about this circle is it already has a center point marked in it. So how do we how do we get to the center? So if you mouse over this top line, you get a little yellow box that indicates where the midpoint is of that line, which is the center of your part. Okay, so then if you drag your mouse downwards and maintain the little yellow dotted line that appears, that will tell you where center is. Okay, so now I'm still in the center of my part, and then I can click and place the start of my circle. Drag it out a little bit and place it down, and then we can edit the dimension later. Okay, so we know from our notes on the blueprint that these holes should be a quarter of an inch diameter. So it tells us that in our notes. So we can just place that circle, uh, click on the dimension tool, and then type in 0.25 or 1 over 4, hit enter, and it will size it correctly. Now the other note to make here is this circle is also set a specific distance from the edge of the part. So if we look back here at our blueprint, it says that it's three quarters of an inch from the edge of the part to the center of the hole. Okay, so in this case, we have a dot already marking center, which is convenient. Okay, and then we're going to take the line tool, and you can use a construction line here too, but uh, you can use the line tool. And you can see where that origin is now important because it kind of marks the bottom of our part. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to find the middle of that line that's there. And then you're going to go down until you run into the bottom of that part where those two yellow dots meet each other. So I'll zoom in here and show you that. So that's center, and then that dotted line tells you that you're at the edge of the part. So then you click that down to place that line. Then you can drag that up and connect it to the center of the circle. And then we can change our dimension to 0.75 or 3 quarters of an inch. Okay, and what that does is it sets that circle where the blueprint indicated. Okay, and then you're done with that sketch. Okay, and for sketch 3, this is essentially rinse and repeat on the other side. Set your circle using the middle, and draw your line. Okay, so now that you have that reference point from the other side, you don't actually have to do the midpoint. You can just use that. Okay, and then we're going to set that at 3 quarters of an inch. And then we also have to set the dimension of our hole to match the blueprint, which is 0.25. Okay, so then, now that we have these circles drawn, we need to extrude them. Okay, in this case, we're doing a negative extrude. So if you try to do them both at the same time, it doesn't get along too well. So you have to do each one independently. So right now we're doing this addition, which we don't want. We want to do a remove. Okay, and you see how it subtracts away that piece? And then we should set this to 1 16th of an inch so it only cuts through that part. Because if you do have another part and you have this 
cut hole uh, going through it, it may cut into another piece of, of your part. Okay, and then same thing with this other one. I'm just going to show you a different way to do this. Um, same thing, you're going to do a remove, extrude, and then you can actually change the end type to face. And then you can click on the face you want the hole to cut up to. And that's it. Now you have your bracket.